The overall goal of this protocol is to record and analyze ultrasonic vocalizations from mouse pups or adults, and then to make the data publicly available at the MouseTube database. So we previously identified mutations in autism. So now we want to understand the role of these genes. We are using mouse models, and especially we are looking at the ultrasonic vocalization of mice. This method can help understand key questions in the neuroscience field. For instance, how genetic mutations affect social communication in mouse models for neuropsychiatric disorders, uh, such as autism. The main advantage of this protocol is that mouse ultrasonic vocalizations are reliably elicited. It should favor a standardization of context of emission to improve between study comparison. This method will also boost knowledge on mouse ultrasonic communication in general using the mouse tube database. After preparing the mice and obtaining newborn pups, set up a cage to record their calls. Use either a soundproof box or a styrofoam box. First, set up a thermometer to monitor the internal temperature. Next, through a hole in the top of the box, lower a condenser ultrasound microphone so that the membrane of the microphone is about 12 to 15 centimeters above the floor. Now, connect the microphone to a computer's sound card. Put the non-experimental pup into a clean plastic pup holder within the recording box and close it up. Make the peak recording sound use the full available amplitude without distortion.